Hello everybody, welcome to Tokyo. A question I get from so many people is, how cold is Japan? And I don't know how to an answer that. Sorry, I lost my voice a little bit uh, on the last uh, um, trip yesterday. But uh, it's a good question and it's also kind of a silly one. In order to highlight this answer, I need to talk a little bit about the geography and the topography of Japan. So bear with me. Uh, this is Japan. You can see it's actually not a small country. So when you say how cold is it in the winter, it can be very, very cold and it can be like today. Actually, Tokyo is fairly warm, surprisingly so. If you look at the weather right now, it's 16 degrees Celsius, which is ridiculously warm for those who are, who, uh, are in Fahrenheit, 62 degrees Fahrenheit in Tokyo. February 1st, 2024, which is pretty crazy. So um, winter in Japan just kind of depends. Tokyo is sort of in the middle of everything. Sapporo up there in the north, going to get a lot of snow. You're going to have minus uh, uh, weather. You're going to need a down jacket. It's, it's pretty chilly up there most of the time. Look down at Okinawa, it's kind of like Florida. So Japan's got a huge range of temperatures. It's not the same. Let me also explain and go in a little bit deeper here. Here's the topography of Japan, in particular with the central region. And you can see Mount Fuji, that little pimple on the bottom of the screen in Shizuoka. But look at all the mountains in there. This creates some unusual weather. So when you say Japan, you gotta think about this too. A lot of places that you might wanna visit are in the mountains and they're gonna be much, much colder. In fact, the coldest temperatures in Japan in the summer are at the top of Mount Fuji. That's 3,776 meters in the sky. It's pretty high. Uh, on the Sea of Japan, the weather's typically going to be cooler because the weather gets knocked down by the mountains and then that kind of warms up Tokyo. So the weather that you get on the Sea of Japan side is not going to be the same as what you get in Tokyo. It's based on topography. So now you get an idea in your head it's not quite the same uh, from one place to another. Despite the fact that Japan is actually, you know, on the map, it looks like a small country, sort of is, but it goes pretty, it goes uh, north to south and then east to west. From Tokyo to Kyushu, it's mostly west. You see that? Tokyo is just, Osaka is just a little bit south. This is Okinawa, so it goes very, very south to very, like, subtropical weather. Then Kyushu, which is more west to Tokyo, but warmer and sunnier. And then we have Osaka. Osaka is actually more west than south of Tokyo, so something to keep in mind. And then there's the Tohoku area, which is north, so the temperatures vary rangely as you go north from Tohoku and Sapporo. So just looking at the, at the geography of Japan, it's a little bit deceptive because from Tokyo to Kyushu, you're going west more than you're going north to south. So the temperature really is not too different, but when you go from Tokyo north to Tohoku, it is much different, it gets much different quicker, as well as the sunset and the sunrise times, for example. So it's also something that you definitely should consider when you're planning your trip. Japan's in more of an east-west country than you think of a north and south. That also has some ramifications in the temperatures as well. Uh, let me go over some of the, some of the, the uh, peak temperatures here. Let's look at the extremes, first of all, for each month in Japan. Uh, this goes all the way back to 1872. I don't know how accurate the weather was back then, the temperature taking as it is today, but uh, it gives you an idea of the lowest and the highest. The extremes are also kind of interesting to look at. This is from Wikipedia. Uh, their source was the Japan Meteorological Association uh, Agency, which is my authoritative source on earthquakes and whatnot. They also have a, a site in English, which you should bookmark if you're making a trip to Japan. It'd be very useful. Uh, if you look in December, the record lows, minus 34.2, which is minus 29.6 uh, Fahrenheit. The Fahrenheits are on the bottom in the parentheses. Uh, February and January are the coldest months. That minus 41 was in Asahikawa. These are all in North Hokkaido. And in the summer months, you see minus 13, minus 6.9 in July. That's actually most likely at the tip of Mount Fuji. All right, so this is where you're going to get the coldest, most extreme weather on the top there because it's still like below zero up on the top of Fuji. It really gets uh, warm up there. The snow will melt though in the summertime but come back uh, uh, pretty quickly. Then you look at the extreme hot weather and it gets pretty hot. The outlier of this entire map is actually May 
There's a 39.5 degrees, 103 degrees Fahrenheit. That was in North Hokkaido, and I, I'm still trying to wrap my head around that. But this gives you an idea of how extreme on those uh, on the scale that Japan can actually get, which is pretty extreme. It gets cold like Canada cold up in Hokkaido, and it gets warm like Florida warm down in Okinawa. So preparing a trip to Japan depends on exactly where you're gonna go. And if you do come to Japan in the winter months, you should probably be prepared for a lot of stuff, depending on where you're gonna go. Um, let's look at some of the places now. Oh, okay, so here's the hot weather temperature and, and I wanna highlight the uh, Saroma Hokkaido in 2019 where it got to almost 40 degrees in May, which is so bizarre because that's really up there. Um, this is the weather for Kochi. Kochi is uh, down in Shikoku. Um, that's more, you can kind of see my eye here. That's more um, uh, on the Pacific side, a little bit west of Tokyo. And you can see in December, January, February, the um, highs are around 60 degrees and the lows are around, you know, 32. So it's like 35 degrees. It never really gets freezing down there because of the, the Pacific Ocean. And it doesn't rain a lot in the winter, which is a good reason to visit in the winter. So that's Kochi. Let's look at another place. This is Niigata on the Sea of Japan side. And you can see it is much colder. It's uh, more uh, on this, uh, it's uh, a little bit more north of Tokyo. And you can see the weather, the highs are around eight degrees. What is it, like 47 degrees? It gets down to about 40 degrees Fahrenheit with the low temperatures below zero. And that's 32 degrees uh, for Fahrenheit. So it's chilly and there's a lot more rain. I want you to notice that here. There's a lot more rain in Niigata. It rains a lot in the winter over on that side. And that rain is often snow, especially in the mountains. All right, let's, let's keep on going here. Here's Okinawa. This is more uh, subtropical down in the south uh, west of Tokyo. And you can see it doesn't rain so much, maybe a, a third of the time, but the weathers are pretty warm comparatively. This is Japan. You can see it's at uh, 21 degrees Celsius, which is what, like 80s? So it's like 70s, 80s, but it does get a little chilly at night. You want a, a light jacket. And this is the coldest uh, it's gonna get in Okinawa. Um, we're going in February. We're going next week to Okinawa. So I'll be able to report to you from, from Ishigakijima. Arthur Vandalay's in the house. Thank you, Arthur. Uh, I think I had one more, didn't I? Maybe just those three. So that'll give you a good indication. Niigata's temperatures, and then of course there's Tokyo. And Tokyo in itself, is that's gonna be the place where a lot of you are, are most, uh, um, most uh, not worried about, most impacted with, because a lot of people coming through Tokyo. If you look at the temperature, like today, it's really warm. But let's look at the temperatures uh, through the week. Let's start with today, uh, February 1st, 2024. That's right, we're in the future. Um, Tokyo is going to be a high of 17 degrees. We're just like, I don't even know why I have a jacket on. I could have, I could have a t-shirt and shorts if I was a Canadian. It's pretty warm. But you can see down in Okinawa, it's actually, in Okinawa is up on the top. Because it's so long, they put it up on the top here. Okinawa is 24 degrees Celsius, or that's like 82 degrees Fahrenheit. It's pretty warm. And then look up on the top here at uh, Hokkaido. It's uh, one degrees Sapporo and minus six. So they're gonna be getting some snow up there, which is good because the snow festival's coming up. So this is the range of temperatures that you get in Japan. There's Sendai, which is 10 degrees minus two. And then you see on the Hiroshima, 12 degrees and then five. Tokyo is the hottest place in the country right now because of the mountains blocking the chill and the Pacific keeping it warm. Despite the fact that we have clouds, you can see that's today's weather. Now let's look at uh, a week from now. Um, the weather's supposed to get a little bit cooler. That's the average for Tokyo, 10 degrees or 50 degrees Fahrenheit. You see that on the right side. And then uh, Sapporo is up there on the top at one minus eight, six, it's the same, it's gonna be cold. And then you see Okinawa, rainy, 21 degrees, 16 as a low, uh, high chance of precipitation. It's impossible to say that Japan is cold because it's not, and it's impossible to say that Japan is hot 
because it's not. It's a really long country. And I think this was the purpose of today's live stream. I answered it all in 10, qu in 10 minutes or less. Japan is such a long country to plan for a trip here is not easy. It just depends on where you want to go, what you're going to, what you, where you, what you want to see, if you're going to be outside or inside, if you're going to be in the cities, if you're going to be in the countryside, if you're going to be on the Sea of Japan side, you're going to be on the Pacific side. It makes a huge difference in the weather and how you'll be impacted. Um, you get a better view of, of Tokyo right now. Uh, you can see there's, there was some blue skies this morning. The clouds have come in, the wind has picked up. It's a little chillier. I think the warmest part was about an hour ago, but it's still fairly warm. It doesn't feel like February 1st. But here's the other thing I wanna tell you about Tokyo. The weather changes just like anywhere else. So you're gonna get like really warm weather. The average is about 50 to 55 degrees Fahrenheit for Tokyo in winter, all right? It's not that cold. It's like Washington DC on a nice day. All right, I don't, I don't know how to, maybe like Southern Virginia. I, I'm trying to think of a comparison here. Uh, but in, in um, there are times though where it's going to get below zero. Just cold fronts will come in dropping snow, but it never ever lasts. Tokyo is, is always gonna warm up again and it's always gonna be kind of like this, and which is nice. And when it does snow, Ario has it right. We call it Snokio. At least that, that's when it gets really, really uh, snowy here. And Tokyo has a hard time dealing with the snow and the ice. Sapporo, on the other hand, has public salt places where you can uh, dump salt on sidewalks and crosswalks and stuff where the public can do it so that nobody slips. And uh, residents uh, do a pretty good job of making the streets safe in Sapporo. All right, now I want to show you my experience. This was about th four years ago in Rikubetsu, which is the coldest town in Japan. It was minus 25 in February, which was almost four, four years ago to the day? Five years ago, I think it was, 2018. This is my birthday, by the way. Yeah, it was February 8th, 2018. And you can see this is the city, the center of the town, Rikubetsu. And they have a thermometer. They take pride, it says Japan's coldest town. And if you pan down there, you're gonna see the temperature and it's minus 25 degrees Celsius. What is that, like minus 19 degrees Fahrenheit, which is ridiculously cold, unless you're Canadian or Norwegian, and then you're like laughing, like that's not cold. But it was freaking cold, it's like a freezer. And um, yeah, this is a place where you could, you could, uh, you know, you bring your food outside and in 15 minutes it's frozen solid. Uh, I went outside, I was staying at this place, it's actually a, a hotel inside there, a very warm hotel, thank goodness. But this is what the town looks like. There's a convenience store, a Seiko Mart near there. Everything is just frozen over. And if I breathe, you can see the steam coming out. It's cold. I needed a, a balaclava, really. Uh, you need a hat like this. You have to cover all of your extremities. My nose hurt. I should, you really need to cover your nose. Uh, maybe even have goggles if, uh, if you got them. So that, that's the extreme part of it. And Okinawa, you probably could have shorts on. Probably want a jacket in the in the at the uh, um, nighttime uh, light jacket. It's comfortable, and that's what I'll be able to report to you when I go down to Okinawa next week. That's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, I'll take some questions if you have anything, because right now we have to celebrate Space Boat, which is taking advantage of this warm uh, February. There's like nobody aboard. Oh, there's a few people. Yeah. Thanks a lot. This is, by the way, the last day to get this postcard. I don't, I don't even see it on the screen here. Today's the last day for the postcard club. And uh, I... So the, the uh, one with the toy toys on there. And uh, that's one of my, probably one of my favorite postcard um, for the last several years. It's a really nice one. Patreon resets in about three hours and that postcard will be uh, history. So get it while it's hot. There you go. It's not even coming up. Anyways, thanks. Hey, Bradshaw Studios in the house. Thank you, Bradshaw Studio. 
All right, thanks a lot for uh, watching this episode on the weather. Leave a comment below if you have anything to add to this. I love the comments. To, uh, so sh this is a social media, so we get a chance to uh, exchange uh, what's the weather like where you are in Japan. If anyone going up to the Sapporo Snow Festival, maybe write up and give us a weather report. It's really cold, but there's the weather from Tokyo. It's mostly cloudy, kind of warm, really nice. Uh, my voice will get better tomorrow. I was screaming at, at the navigation system. Google, Google Navi made me miss an exit and it took me 30 minutes out of the way yesterday. And let's just say I won the argument yesterday and I lost it this morning. <laughs> there you go. Uh, anyways, take care guys. Matane, I'll see you again tomorrow. Minus 25 is respectable. I think here come the Canadians. Absolutely. All right, everybody. Matane.